Hey guys, it's Marco again. I postponed this video quite a few times due to holidays, but here it is. New best way to combust on solo targets and AoE. I was reluctant to make this guide for solo targets, since I don't practice that opener myself. It offers 1000 even less more damage, but generally I don't like the feeling when doing it. It feels clunky for me, but here is the opener. Pre-pot, pre-use trinket, into fireball, during the fireball cast use combustion plus fire blast plus fire blast, into instant pyroblast followed by another instant pyroblast. Phoenix flames, pyroblast plus fire blast, pyroblast, phoenix flames, pyroblast plus fire blast, pyroblast, phoenix flames, pyroblast, rune of power, shifting power. The number of pyros will depend on your haste, the more haste you have, you'll even be able to get 9 pyros inside of your combust, plus bloodlust. But you should aim to spend all your phoenix flames and fire blasts. With a really good gear or power infusion from priests, which mages usually get, you'll be able to hit one more scorch inside of your combustion, paired with another pyroblast. Currently I can only hit 8 pyros, without power infusion. Here's the demonstration. And lastly, Combustion for Mythic Plus. I love going with this opening rotation, it always grants me the highest value on big packs. Trinket into Scorch plus Combustion, Fire Blast, Flame Strike, Fire Blast plus Phoenix Flames, Flame Strike, Fire Blast plus Phoenix Flames, Flame Strike. Phoenix Flames into Shifting Power. During Shifting Power you want to cast another Fire Blast, so you can Flame Strike instantly after Shifting Power is over followed by two fire blasts into a flame strike, then rune of power. If your haste value is a bit low, you're going to end your shifting power closely to end of your combustion and then just pop your flame strike as soon as possible, cast a new rune of power with fire blast times two into flame strike. Again here's a small demonstration and just a note that shifting power does a ton of damage in AoE situations. And that's it for this small opener guide, I hope you liked it and found it useful, and until next time, take care.